So, Dr. Zakia, the month of forgiveness, Ramadan, is upon us, and Allah has recommended us to be forgiving of one another during this month. Can you explain more about that? This is the month of forgiveness, and since we ask for forgiveness from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah has also recommended that we human beings, we should forgive others. And there are several verses in the Quran which have explained this in detail. If you read Surah Al-Imran, chapter number 3, verse 134, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that you should forgive. Allah likes those who do good deeds. That means those who forgive, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala likes them. Allah says in Surah Araf, chapter number 7, verse number 199, that hold to forgiveness and enjoin what is right and go away from those who are ignorant. Furthermore, Allah says in Surah Nur, chapter number 24, verse number 22, Allah says that, and you should forgive. Wouldn't you want that Allah should forgive you? Allah is of forgiving and most merciful. Allah says in Surah Taqabun, chapter number 64, verse number 14, that amongst your wives and children, there are some who are your enemies. But it will be better if you forgive them. You overlook their fault and you cover up their fault. Allah is of forgiving and most merciful. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is encouraging the Muslims and the believers that it is better that you forgive as many people as possible and Allah will forgive you. And we have the best examples in the prophets of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We have the example in the life of Prophet Yusuf alayhi salam. Where we know, Prophet Yusuf peace be upon him, that his stepbrothers, they had planned against him and they wanted to kill him. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala saves him. And later on, he is made the governor of Egypt. And when finally all the brothers are at his mercy, Allah says that he said, it's mentioned in the Quran, in Surah Yusuf. Chapter number 12, verse number 92. He says that, let not reproach the cast on you. And Allah is the one to forgive. He's merciful. That means Yusuf alayhi salam, he forgives all his brothers. And he says Allah is merciful. We have the best example of forgiveness in the last and final messenger, Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa During Fatih Mecca, when the mushriks, when the pagans of Mecca, they killed many of his relatives, that killed his uncle, that killed many of the sahabas. But when finally, he had victory over them. He forgave all of them. And Allah says in the Quran, in Surah Ahzab, chapter number 33, verse number 21, that verily in the Prophet, you have the most beautiful pattern of conduct. And Allah says in Surah Fusilat, chapter number 41, verse number 34, Allah says that repel evil with good. And you may never know, the person in whose heart is hatred against you, you will find that he will become an intimate friend of yours. That means repel evil with what is good. That is the best. And Allah repeats the message in Surah Shura, chapter number 42, verse number 37. He speaks about those people. That means the people of paradise. Those are the people who avoid shameful deeds and avoid major sins. And when they get angry, they forgive. So there are various verses in the Quran in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gives us guidance to the human beings that we should forgive the other people. Well, Jazakallah khair, Dr. Zakia, for that reminder regarding forgiving 